And now, get ready. We play the game to win. Welcome to Cat Span with your host, Cat Beach, and co host, Nikki Henning. It's just another day in the journey, so grab a drink, a bite to eat, and hang with them for a while as they walk down memory lane. We play the game to win. So grab a drink, a bite to eat, and hang with them. Okay, we are live. Hang on, I gotta fix your mics. Hang tight. Okay, there we go. And there's that. And I need to unmute you guys. And you are muted. Okay, there we go. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us again. I'm Cat Beach. I'm Nikki Hemming. And we're here at Cat Span. And you know what? Every week, we, we were off last week, and so, so, so sorry for that. But we'd like to bring a lot of our friends from our past and mm -hmm. our world mm -hmm. um, actually to help share uh, their worlds with you, uh, maybe help your right. world. Maybe if you were thinking of transitioning in your world and you want to know a little bit about art or what we did, um, what we did a little of um, voiceover work. Uh, we've got Broadway coming up, a whole bunch of things. Today we have an incredible artist. And we're really thrilled to share her because she is phenomenal and a special gem. I mean, she's such a rare bird. Um, and so you're going to you're going to learn a lot about her world. But before we jump into Antoinette and you can wave Antoinette because they can see you. And say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we just want to do a real quick shout out that we never do because we forget to, to give ourselves some some oomph. Um, so please do uh, subscribe to subscribe, 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 hit the subscribe, subscribe button subscribe, to subscribe, Cat Span. Just put that in your headspace and please share it with your friends. We've got so many wonderful things to share with you. And, and we're doing it because we love this and because we want to help people um, be the best version of themselves. And we want to exactly help people right. do their world. Exactly right. I, I mean, all of us can use a little help um in in our promotion our marketing and so that's why we do this every week and so today after you subscribe and you share everybody <laughs> that's all right. you can't look until you subscribe yes you better get off this live stream until you subscribe <laughs> i'm not wrapped too tight no she makes me act like this i'm, yeah. I'm regularly quite sane she is quite sane until she gets in the room with me and then insanity happens across the board. <laughs> and we can't just blame that on me though. <laughs> I will blame it on the universe. Uh, so, <laughs> so without further ado, we want to introduce Antoinette. She is an incredible painter, incredible artist. She is from South Africa and originally, and she now lives in America. Uh, and I wanna give her just a, a quick chance to say hello. Say hello, Antoinette. No, I'm still muted. Are, are you muted? Are you muted? A second. Oh, there we go. Now you're not muted. <laughs> Hi. Say hello to everybody, Antoinette. Can you? Hi, can you... how's to be? Nice, nice to be on here yeah, with you, girls. Oh, so fantastic. <laughs> and by the way, love your accent. Always have. I love it. <laughs> so beautiful. You sound so. Thank nice. you. <laughs> I mean, it's lovely. It's a lovely one. And and by the way, for everybody watching, what what is behind Antoinette is is uh, one two of her pieces. Am I correct? That's the zebra behind you. And yeah, this is a zebra, and this is one I did this morning. Um, <laughs> one. It's an abstract on a piece of wood. Oh, wow. that's on wood. A little bit more what? like. Yeah, this is just a piece of wood, and I box plop some color on, and I just played around. <laughs> wow. You? I wish I could just throw some stuff on and play around and have it. <laughs> right? You want to see some play around? Let me show you. Stick figure. <laughs> um, you know what, Antoine, I, I wanted to ask, Nikki and I both have a whole bunch of questions for you, but probably the number one thing that she and I <laughs> both wanted to know is uh, when did you, what age did you, was it, what age did you start painting? That was, 
that was our fir my first question, her first question. So when did you start? Um, I'm from a very small town. We didn't really have art at school, but I remember us getting a teacher from Cape Town and she brought all this pal pal palettes of color and stuff. I was probably about 10. And uh, the first thing we had to draw was like a vase with flowers. Mm -hmm. And that's the first time that I really realized I love art and I love bright colors. So um, then I won a prize with it. I cannot remember what I won, but I won something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not really what you won, this is what you remember, that what you created, right? She's <laughs> like, I won something. <laughs> I won something. <laughs> By the way, not surprised you won something because it was probably inherent in you since you were very, very young. Exactly. I think. Exactly. I think. So, so is, is what I've seen across all of your work, and I've, I've seen a little more than you, Nikki, but mm -hmm. Nikki's seen some of your work, and, and including in my house, Beautiful. right over my head where I you see my finger pointing. Yeah. That's actually at a, at, at a rear end, but it's a beautiful nude, and I absolutely love the, the painting, but I will say that you... I thought now shame on me because I said oil. Uh, it's, it's okay. Tell me the difference. What, what, it's because I'm not really art savvy. Oil and acrylic, is there a major, major difference in the. I don't have a lot of experience with oil. I work with acrylic plainly because it's practical. It dries very quick. I'm very impatient. You know, I want to start and I want to, I want to, if I want to go back and change something, I want to do it with the same dry. You know, so I prefer acrylic just because it's for me to go back and touch up the clouds or whatever. It allows me to do that. But I will, I will, a lot of people ask me to, you know, I will maybe one day in the future start playing with oil and then just put it on ice, you know, work with acrylic in the meantime and a little bit of that. <laughs> and you had a question about that. Like, I do have a question about that. Like, do you work with like charcoals and other, other types like that also? I uh, know. I will. Whenever I do a painting, I will sketch it first, uh, just with a normal pencil, and then I will start. I only enjoy it once I put the color on. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. How do you envision what you see to what you put on canvas? Because looking around at what Cat has in her in her house and what I've seen of your art so far, your colors are so bold and so different. Like, how do you see what you're gonna do? Like, how do you know? I, I, I'm not sure, you know, but I will know if I paint something, I will, I can see it already. Like today I asked my daughter to give me, I said, give the lady, give the lady to me. And she's like, what, what lady? There's only a blank canvas. But in my mind, I can actually see what colors is coming on her hair, everything, you know, because I know exactly what she needs to look like. And I will sketch and I will play around and I will fix it five times until I'm happy. <laughs> Wow. Was there a sketching class that you did when you were younger? I, the reason I say that is because a lot of us can sketch a, a stick figure. If you asked me, um, if, if you said, Kat, I'm going to give you a million dollars and I want you to sketch this zebra exactly how Antoinette did it, I'd say, I'm unfortunately, I'm going to not be able to make this million dollars. <laughs> right. I couldn't I'm do that if I tried. I'm going to owe you a million dollars. <laughs> is there, is, is it? Was your mom or your dad, did, were they artists? Where did this come from? My mom is very good with music. My mom is an orphan, so she's extremely gifted with music. Mm -hmm. She can listen to a song, and she can literally, like, immediately start playing it on, on most instruments that's on earth. She's wow. extremely talented. And you know what? She always wanted me to go into music, but I was so rebellious that I thought I will do anything play a piano <laughs> and, <laughs> and I started discovering that I get the same uh, feeling when I do art it's it's creative and it's lovely and yes so my, not my mom or my dad is I've never seen them draw anything <laughs> but um, yeah and I never had real classes at school we did not have, at, at, have art I had to move to a boarding school and you know I just couldn't do that oh. but um I did meet a lady later on in my life that I actually enrolled my kids for, for art classes. And I did learn a lot of, you know, how she would do a composition of something. Yeah. I did learn a lot from her. But um, what happened to my art, I would say it happened recently, pretty recently. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. Did, what, 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 what do you, what, what do you feel? Was there an emotional change or something that happened, a textural change in your, in your life that made you, I, I know last time I spoke to you, you just said you, that you were just milling out and Nikki asked this question. How, how long does it take you? I'm, I'm stealing her question. How long did it? I shouldn't have gave her my you question. Shouldn't have, you shouldn't have done it. Nick. I yeah, shouldn't I have done it. Doing. How, <laughs> so at least I gave her credit. How, how quickly do you mill these paintings out? Cause you just said you did that this morning and I'm looking I at did. Now, this is something that I can do in my sleep, I'm pretty sure. This is something where, when I stress, I would literally just like, you know, like I said, with the colors, I would put it on a piece of wood or anything, and I would play with it until it forms a picture. But if I, for instance, have to do a commission piece, yes. I would really print a reference photo, or I would take three, you know, and just put it all together, and then I form a picture. So that will take longer. Sorry, I'm feeling I'm squinting. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. You're not. And, and I will tell you this was really interesting about your commissioned work and everybody out there now. Um, Antoinette does commission work. And um, I, I, I sent her a picture of my father and Carolyn's um, beloved cat. And it was an interesting moment to see. And, and, and um, Hugo is his name. He's a um, British short hair. So they're known for these big, gigantic golden eyes, and they're very, you know, I love last based animals. I love them all. <laughs> but uh, uh, you, what you did, and what I'd like to express to people, is you brought out his character. I don't know how people do that artistically. I can't see, I can't see it on either. I, I wish I could, because to me, it's... it's wildly interesting to see how you, you matched his the, the, uh, a picture of him and, and your painting you matched his the, his character the, the, yeah his, his character it was his, wild his swag his swag dang, 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 his swag I couldn't think of that I couldn't think of the right oomph but yes you did and you did it perfectly but you added all these wonderful bold colors I love bold colors because it makes you but how, how do you do that is there just something inside your is there a technique to it I don't know. I don't think this, you know, it's something that, that ha I always say it happens. I would start with a painting. Say, for instance, you say to me, I don't like bright colors. And it did happen before. If people tell me, listen, I don't like bright colors, but I really want you to do a piece for me. If you want me to do that, you need to take the paint away from me and, and leave those that I'm allowed to use because I will always take the bright ones and then I have to redo the whole thing. <laughs> so, um, I like bright colors. It makes me happy. It's got a higher energy or vibration or I don't know, but I do like bright colors. And, you know, for me, the biggest compliment is when somebody buy a piece and then a few months later, they will send me a message and say, hi, I had such a horrible day at work. And I came into my house and I saw your painting and it cheered up my whole day. Yes. I love because that's the idea. That's the idea of art, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. Across the board. I can see I like the work. Yeah, colors. I, I, I have the know. one, I have the redhead over to my right. You can't see it. I, know. I, took the I keep looking like they can see it with me. <laughs> it's unreal. It's, it's, you, just, you just have an uncanny ability to just capture the energy. Thank uh, you. Wh whether it's animals or not. So I just kind of want to take you back to South Africa when I speak at the animals, because I've seen a lot of zebras. Um, I've seen a lot of landscapes that you've painted, which are all, and, and we can't see them now. You'll have to go over to Antoinette's um, page, by the way, which is um, Art by Toy. Art by, by Toy. Art, oh, wait, that's right. Art by Toy. I should know that. It's A R T space B Y and then T O I. Yes. And on Facebook, and you will see um, just a myriad of different photos from people. Um, you know, Nelson Mandela's on there. You have zebras, you have lions, you have um, uh, VW bugs. VW bugs, that's which I love. That was a good one. <laughs> VW showing. bugs, or, is it there? Do you have it there, girly? Show it to you. Look oh. at that VW bug in the last one, sweetie. And I think I told I you this, Antoinette. <laughs> the last VW bug came off the line two weeks ago. They are not wait. waiting anymore. <laughs> wait, wait. I have her show that again because we wait, didn't have it. Again. Show it again. Okay, hang on a second. Oh. Okay. Yeah, pull the VW bug up a bit. 
Okay, just a second. We're going to go to South Africa, but we're going to go right back to America. <laughs> okay. Hold, so, hold okay. it there for a minute, baby. That is absolutely Isn't that great? It is. That's like ridiculously good. You can even good. see the shadows in, the, like the reflection. <laughs> I know, right at I the bottom. Yeah, you can see. That's so great. Can you tell me why you did the VW bug? Because you, I don't even think you realized that the last VW bug came off the line. Um, no, I did not. But it's something I always, I also want to do a red one and a white one. And I want to do the combi. The, it's so, such a cute little car, you know? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they've got character. It is, it is. And you know how many people told me that their first car was a um, VW bug? This is a um, a portrait I did of my little boy. Oh, I love that! <laughs> so cute. Look at the freckles. Are those freckles? It has freckles. And the big blue eyes. <laughs> oh, Look at I'll those eyes. Photo. Yeah, he's got nice blue eyes. But I'll send you a photo later um, with him next to it. Yeah, I I think I captured his his um, personality or something. You know, but. I did it from a photo and he had his hair out and the wind blow it all up and he's like mommy look how cool I look you need to take a photo <laughs> I'm stealing another Nikki question I'm stealing a question um, your kid sorry <laughs> don't ask about the kids I'm gonna let her ask the question <laughs> you said you've had your kids in art classes also, right? Are they able to create and do some things like you've been doing so far? They they are. Um, my elder daughter is incredibly creative. She is actually more talented than I am. I always tell her, like, you have to come and help me paint, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but she's very really talented. My um, son, uh, my second uh, born, he, is, he likes photography. You know, so he's always busy with his camera and, you know, he takes some photos and then he, he actually took a nice photo of a VW bag and he said, Mommy, you need to paint this one too. And I really <laughs> want it. a nice picture. And my 12 year old, she's very good with organ organizing stuff, patterns and stuff. And then my the six year old little boy, he's really creative because you know how bored they get in summer holidays? Yeah. And he was driving me nuts, like every day. I'm so bored, you know. <laughs> and I started giving him all my old tubes of paint. And I thought, oh my goodness, this guy's a little Picasso in the making. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a good start. My last born and my first born together and let him create something. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Have you ever painted a, 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 a painting that you, you just didn't want to let go of? I, I do get attached to my paintings, you know, I do get attached to them. And yeah, but I always think of it of spreading joy and happiness. So if somebody buys it and I know it's bringing them joy, I'm happy to share it, you know. Yeah. But it's like I had this happy zebra that just won't sell. And everybody likes it. It's wonderful reviews, but every time somebody wants to buy it, it's a sale fall through, and that's a sign, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your most meaningful piece that you created? Is it something that you've done for yourself or something that you did for somebody else? It is something that I did in South Africa um, many years ago. So in my life, I had work of art, and then I would dry up, and then I had, you know, like, and then. I told you that I painted when I was young and then I didn't have opportunity to paint again because we did not have an art teacher. And then years later, I, uh, I had two sets of twins and I lost this. When I lost the second set, um, my son's brother, I fell into a deep depression mm -hmm. and I went for some therapy and, and they said, you need to express, you know, get something that you can express with. And I think I did a masterpiece. I left it in South Africa, but it's a red flower that just happened, you know? And that was the first time that I realized that if you do art and, and it really helps you to feel better, you know, it can heal you, art is healing. Yes. And um, 
so I started doing art as a hobby from then on. You know, it was a hobby for me. I had uh, other businesses to focus on. But whenever the pressure of everyday life was just too much, I would get a canvas and I would paint something. Yeah. But once I came to America, I had two years that I didn't do any art. And <laughs> my yeah. son, actually, you know, you come to a new country, you don't have canvases, you don't have paintbrushes, nothing. And my son got me my first kit. And my, he said to my daughter, he said, Ma is very, very down. And she thought about it and she said, I think you need to buy her a kit. Go buy her some paints and canvases and just leave her with it. And you know what? I did my first little landscape. I was, it was this small. <laughs> I was so <laughs> proud of myself. Yeah. I placed it on the Facebook and it sold like instant. And I'm like, wow, they right. actually like my art. We <laughs> 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 just believe it. And from then on, it just, it just grew, you know, it grew, it grew. That's the right word. Yeah. How many do you? do in a day let's just say you're you're having a a tuesday afternoon and you just feel like you need to paint how many how many paintings do you do in on a tuesday i never work on one painting alone because i am the type of person that gets if i paint something and something goes wrong i always say something is wrong here i need a break and then i take the other canvas so i put that one away and i will work on another one like this vw bug it took me two months but mm. it's not as if I just did that. I will paint happy painting, and then I will go back to the car and think, oh my goodness, is it so difficult? I just can't get the wheel at the right spot, you know? And um, so some painting is harder than others. But wow. like, some is, is just easier. Do you miss South Africa? I do. Yeah. I, we grew up very close to nature, and yeah. our farm, <laughs> actually borders on the, the uh, border of uh, Kruger National Park, where all the animals are. Oh, nice. <laughs> Tell me what animals were there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so giraffes. Everything, giraffes, um, elephants, lions, leopards, um, zebras, blow wildebeest, roy oh, uh, blow wildebeest, blue, I don't know what you say in English, Blue, oh. uh, blue wilder. Uh, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> listen, we're all laughing because I don't know very many animals. I do know the wildebeest. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes the elephants would break the, the wires and they would come onto our farm, and then fauna and flora. That's the like the animal. They save animals. They would come and capture them and take it actually happened this week oh my it was, god like an elephant could you imagine i'm just gonna have a <laughs> looking moment. at your big you window <laughs> like, Nikki, there's an elephant in the backyard oh maybe we ought to call them whatever Did you? sorry no then. i cannot imagine wait, wait there's a giraffe place that what is the name of the place i don't know if it's in south africa or or, or um where in africa it is it, it, it it's a it's um Antoinette, you may or may not know it. Um, it's it's a place you can go where giraffes. It's it's a giraffe sanctuary, but there's also a hotel. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about yes. where you can wake up in the morning and the giraffe's head is in like the you know window. Yeah, I've seen it, but it's not in South Africa. Where is it? it? I think it's in one of the neighboring countries. Okay. Uh, it's not Namibia. I lived in Namibia for four years. I think it's a little bit deeper. Okay. I will find out for you, but I've seen. No, but somebody told me about that, and I thought if I woke up in the morning and a giraffe head was in my face, I, I'm not sure. Or an elephant outside my window. Or an elephant outside my window. <laughs> a elephant. spider on my wall. <laughs> you see, that's where you get spider. I'm so glad. Spider. I'm so glad you don't paint spiders. Um, <laughs> oh no, I would not. Anything. That that you I, I won't say that, that that brought you down, but is there anything that you, you know, what what's your biggest defeat? Is there something that and I didn't I didn't let you know about this. You've you got me now. Of, yes. Not, yeah, there we go. Can you, you know. Is there anything that was kind of a defeat that just completely took you down? You said you didn't paint for two years. You said or a year. Yeah, um, when I came to America. Was it just the shock of being here? You know, I 
spoke English my whole life. <laughs> but what I realized when I came to America is that my English and your English is not the same. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm speaking, I'm asking somebody for a serviette and, and they don't know what it means. And I'm like, I need a serviette to like clean, you know, and they call it a napkin. It's not right. like I was <laughs> <laughs> what is the word you used? Serviette. Serviette. Yes. I like yours better. So I'd sounds like a napkin. Elegant. I'd like a serviette. I, yours is much better. Yeah, it sounds more elegant. Yes. yes. <laughs> we'll go with yours. But I'm it's, sure that was tough because because there's that barrier and there's so, so many different things you have to hurdle. But you know what? It's an amazing country. Uh, I'm so glad I came to America. It's, it's such a beautiful country. Um, me and my kids took a road trip to Arizona. And oh. it's, so, it's so far. Wow. <laughs> I thought I'm going to fly there. It's going to be quickly. But I took a car with the three kids. That was a big mistake, by the way. <laughs> but it's an endless road. But I saw the most amazing, beautiful state. You live in the most amazing country. And let me tell you something about American people. Your heart is as big as the country. I oh, love wow. that about I really love it about American people that you open, friendly, you know, it, it's a very good quality to have. And I really appreciate the opportunity to get to know all of you. Thank oh. you. you. You know what? Your heart is golden. And from the oh. moment that I met you in person, <laughs> I thought I met your art before I met you. And it, it just, it's all over my apartment. And it so I, it's, I, 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 you know, you can feel your character and your quality and your your empathetic soul. Oh, thank you. Just of what you paint. But when I met you in person, I thought, what a golden soul. Oh, thank you. you. Actually, Nikki and I wanted you on the show because not only are you just incredibly talented, you're you're humble. Oh, uh, wisdom beyond your years, and you you choose. You choose just to be a hundred percent you, and that is the most valuable thing anybody can be. And and I I and I know Nikki feels the same way. It, we want to show people who are a hundred percent genuinely, uniquely themselves and yes. and talented. Oh. I know she has so much talent. So much talent. So I, I'm not. We don't want to take. Uh, did we ask all the questions we want? I had one more question. We have one more question. If I'm you sure could... I have ten more, but. <laughs> if you could live anywhere, anywhere in the world, what would you choose? I would like to bring my family, yeah. <laughs> ah. And I like a farm. So we were first in Maryland, but I tell you, the cold weather nearly killed me. I don't know how people survive <laughs> there. In Africa, the, world, the weather is just so much warmer, you know. And you know, the most beautiful thing I saw was snow because overnight everything is just like a fairy tale but you know coming from africa when we saw it and it's so beautiful we want to run out and touch it and we ran out me and the kids and we didn't have shoes on oh. and <laughs> we hurt so badly we could not believe it and i thought i'm not going to tell anybody what happened to our feet and I was, we got <laughs> And I saw some other South Africans had the same experience. And I thought, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <That's okay." laughs> <You're not alone. laughs> so now when we go out and it's snowing, we look like Kelly Tubbies, you know, all. Oh. You're like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the tubby. That's true. <laughs> so before we let you go, <laughs> you know, something that's important uh, to Nikki and I is, is, is being mentors mentors among us if there was an artist watching which there are today um what would you tell them if they were up against some tough times maybe they're tough times emotionally life-wise uh maybe a uh you know dry spell in their artwork is there is there some sort of wisdom that you can impart because you've gone through a lot honey and, uh -huh. and, yeah. and what, what would you what would you tell a young artist who says, you know, I, I want to do this? I would say paint what's in your heart. Mm -hmm. And painting for me is a feeling. It's more feeling than what I see. So I would see, you would see a cat. 
but I see a cat and I've got this feeling from it, you know. So paint what's in your heart, but paint with feeling. And never, ever give up on the dream because just follow your heart and any dream you have, you know, um, just go for it. Yes. Don't stop. Don't look for excuses not to do it because there's so many stuff and so many excuses. Don't allow yourself to stop. Just go for it. Oh, I love that. I love it. That's <laughs> golden. That is. You can apply that to all mm. aspects of life. Yeah, that's true. That Everything. And trust me, we all go through it. So yeah, yeah thank we do. you for sharing that. And you know what? I, I, again, before we go, Antoinette, tell people how they can find your art um, across the board. Be, and, and before I say that, uh, before you say that, <laughs> um, remember Antoinette can, can commission anything um, from from a picture of in my case my father's cat to a a child photos of her son photos of her son to to a landscape uh, maybe your family member who um, is aged and you want to uh, you want to capture a moment in your life That's that you can keep there's that we we have a lot of photos in our world but so very few painted experiences that have life and love and um compassion so um, i think we may have lost her but if she doesn't come back it's <laughs> art by toy a-r-t-b-y-t-o-i for facebook at least yes that's correct and that's where and that's where you can find her okay. and i think there's she has a dot com as well but art by toy and guys truthfully she she's a rare bird in her energy and and nikki and i have been blessed enough to know her and blessed. and see what she does and she's been through she's been through a lot and to continuously stick with her art and say you know what i'm i'm going to do this against all odds i'm going to do i'm i'm i'm, I'm going to continue to do the gift that God gave me against all odds. And that's what she's done and, and is extremely talented. So you can always contact myself. You can contact Nikki or art by toy or just, just inbox me, but know that she is a very powerful energy source and so, so talented. And that's why we have her on today. She's uh, there she is. We've got her on. We've got her on. We, we, <laughs> we did a little shout out for you, honey. We can't hear you. Can you hear me now? We can hear you now. So we just did a shout out for you, but we want, we want you to do your final shout out. We did, we did a little shout out for you, but how can people find your art? Or contact okay. you or contact, to get art yeah. commissioned. Yeah, I do commissions. I <laughs> I usually do uh, people's kids or animals, pet portraits. You know, somebody will send me a photo and I will do that. Sometimes somebody's got a they got a picture or photo what that they took that they want me to paint for them. That they have the photo and the artist version of the photo. I do commission work, and I've got a page on Facebook, um, Art by Toy. So it's art by, and my, the toy is T-O-I, very easy to find. And on Fine Art America, you can find me there too. Fine Art America? Fine. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just look for toy. Something I never answered the question. You asked where I would live, if I could live anywhere, mm -hmm. in a warm state. Where the weather is now. <laughs> so Otherwise known as Bora Bora. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love Georgia. I love Georgia. But I went to Tennessee last weekend. And, oh, my goodness, I love Nashville. The people are so happy. And I love it. Yes. Oh, we, we loved, loved having, having you people. here. We loved having you here. <laughs> it was so good to see you. And, honey, and, and maybe Florida. Maybe you'd like a warm Florida. I'm well, scared of hurricanes. I'm not... I'm, I, I, uh, we don't have hurricanes in Africa, so if mm -hmm. I see it, no, not where where I come from. No, we're quite pretty safe in the middle. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> but you don't want a hurricane. I see a hurricane. Yeah. I actually check every week if there's hurricanes coming, because I'm yeah. I'm terrified of that and tornadoes. Yeah. I've so, been through yeah. I've been through hurricanes. Have you been through a tornado? I've uh, never a tornado in Ripley one time. Yeah, really? Mm -hmm. Did it scare you? Oh, I don't remember it. That's scary stuff. 
I've it's been serious. working on, and I am the, the ding dong that decided uh, the last three, I was in Miami for everybody who does not know. And yeah, the last three didn't hit us. And since they didn't hit us, this one's not going to hit us. It oh was, no. It hit us directly. And at the time I didn't board up my, my condo and, and uh, always one how I, I owned it at the time. I wish I had rented it because I could have blamed it on somebody else. Um, but, oh, well, that's the way it worked. <laughs> you hear my, my little Pekingese barking now. Anyways, um, <laughs> just so you do to your behind me, just a huge, a huge love. And thank you so much for being here, Antoinette. Thanks for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. You are an incredible blessing. You are such an incredible energy and your artwork is extraordinary. I you too, Beth. I've seen a lot of artwork in my life and, <laughs> and the bold colors and the energy that you have. Thank you. Second to none. And I hope that people will see it and will buy it and have it in their home because it feels good. I feel good having your artwork in my home, honey. Thank you. That's awesome news. And I'll hold my thumbs for, for the awards, okay? Thank you, sweetheart. Love you. Love you. Love you. Namaste. Love you so, so much. Bye, and Nikki. Nikki. Love you too. Sorry. Bye. I will. I'll post everything up on my page. Okay. It was nice chatting to you. You too, sweetie. You're amazing. Bye -bye. Okay, you too. Bye. -bye. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining, joining us on, on Cats Cats Band. Band. We, we had, had a blast, blast and we thank, thank you for all, all your questions. questions. Come hang with us next week. Same time, same station. We play the game to win. We refuse to lose. And we only get stronger and stronger. We're going to dig deeper and deeper. We play the game to win.